Uh, my father passed away in, uh, in 2012, and that was uh, very tragic to me. Certain events in my life, tragic events, stressful events, that uh, made me go into a drinking binge. Yeah, and it was uh, terrible, but she said, you need to go to rehab. I said, rehab? I've never been to rehab. I don't think I need it. Uh, I think I should be fine. Uh, I've been there for uh, 31 day total, and some of the people I met, I feel like they're gonna be my friends forever. Uh, doing that uh, sober October thing made me realize, like, hmm, a lot of that stuff you could do if you're sober. Like, mm -hmm. the, and, and it's, I think, as I said, you can abuse alcohol, but you can also use it. You know, you can use it. You can you can have a couple drinks and feel good, and you enjoy the moment more. My dad didn't abuse alcohol. Alcohol abused him. And he was powerless to do anything about it without clinical professional help. It's not as simple as having willpower to just come off it. Now, society often shifts culpability and blames the alcoholic for their lack of willpower. And this was evident in my dad's case. Following his death, I was reminded that he did it to himself. He only had himself to blame and it was self-inflicted. I was very hopeless and um, I found a hope uh, with help of my counselor. I'm trying to be sober today. And that part of me still lives in here and that's why I have to work so hard and revolve my life around being sober because I still have instincts to say screw it all. I still have a part of me that longs to self-destruct but I have no doubt that that will lead me to suicide, uh, institutions, jails, or death, uh, hospitals. It's the only way I can end up long-term in that space. And I really don't want to be there, no matter what weird voice in my head still gets thirsty over hearing about people's low bottoms.